Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and today is another in the Mission Builder series and it's recent additions that will help the World War II Mission Builders or I hope it will so let's get started okay back in the mission editor so what's been introduced if we go up to edit and load static template there's a list of static templates for you for V1 launch sites and German radar sites. Now at the moment the German radar sites don't all appear to work so I'll look into that but the V1 sites they all function correctly. And basically what's happened is you've been provided with individual sites so that it doesn't kill frames per second in a particular mission. So if you wanted to provide a target of a single V1 site for a no ball raid, then you can select each individual site, like so. So we click on it, press load, and it appears in the correct location on the channel map. Now these have been built as complete units or groups, should I say, so that if you make a mistake and you don't want that in there anymore, simply click and highlight one and press the delete key. So we'll go back, we'll load the static template and this time we'll put all the V1 sites in. So click on there and then download and as you can see it lists in the description all of the sites above as individuals. So let's load it and they all appear on the map. So hopefully that will help mission builders put the actual locations of V1 sites into the channel map missions. Now as well as channel map specific static templates, unit templates have also been introduced so that they can be used on any map. So let's look at that now. So we're going to the edit, we'll add a template and let's check out what we have for the USA. So if we pull down the drop down we'll see that we have the 37mm anti-aircraft setup M45 and the QF 3.7 anti-aircraft battery. Now as you can see it also lists whether the asset pack is required or not. If we go into the UK I'll show you what I mean. So we'll click on there and if you come into the drop down you've got the Bofus gun AA battery where the asset pack is not required because the Bofors weapon is part of the core DCS sim. Where the units are more specific, where they contain the number of individuals that would service that battery, the asset pack is required because there are infantry units in those setups. Now the unit templates have been set up as per World War II historic values. In relation to the individuals, I scaled that down because there were eight individuals per QF 3.7. So in essence, to alleviate a potential frames per second issue, I scaled that down to around about two to three individuals per gun. So now if we look at the Third Reich, we have a list of units where it includes radar sites, V1 sites, flak units, searchlight batteries, etc, etc. Again, with the searchlight batteries, even the smallest heavy searchlight battery contained 10 searchlights. And to alleviate any issues in a mission with frames per second, particularly for those individuals joining in with a low MPC, I scaled that back to a heavy searchlight battery containing 5 units. You also have the radar sights. So as you can see, there's a fair selection to go at if you want to provide targets as a mission builder. So let's set one down now in the mission and find out what it looks like. So let's put a flak unit here at Aberville Drukat and we go into Add Template, Third Reich and I'll choose the flak 36 battery from the listing. So there we go and then I will move the mouse pointer over the map and click and there we have it. That is the flak unit in its entirety. So we have the four main guns, 
spaced out correctly. We also have a power supply unit, a KDO unit and personnel manning the guns. I scaled that back slightly because in essence for the larger guns there were eight personnel. Also we have the smaller 20mm flak units which were used for battery defence against low flying aircraft in the locality. Further out we have the command post which contain the KDO and the electrical supply with personnel there too. So let's see how that looks in SIP. And that concludes this video. And I hope the World War II mission builders out there will find these templates as useful as I do when I'm building missions. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now!